I'm on page 185. We have two word problems that we are going to find there, the algebraic expression for each of these situations. Number 17. The length of a piece of fabric is 8y yards. London cuts 7 yards from it. So I'm starting with 8y, and I'm going to cut 7 yards. Okay. He makes some cushions. He then cuts another 3 yards minus 3y more. Because he's starting with this 8y, cutting 7, and then cutting 3y yards from that uh, to make some curtains. So this is, he's got cushions and curtains. Starts with 8y, takes away 7, and then cuts uh, another 3y for his curtain. The remaining material is cut into four equal pieces. When I see cut into four equal pieces, I know that's division. So it's 8y minus 7 minus 3y divided by 4. Now I see I can simplify this because I have a y, 8y, and a 3y. This is a negative, uh, I have a positive 8y, negative 3y. So 8y minus 3y is 5y minus 7 divided by 4. And here is my algebraic expression in simplest form. All right, let's go to number 18. Ling has 4M pounds of flour. 4M pounds of flour. He buys another two packages of flour, each weighing M pounds times... Oops. Let's get rid of that. Let's try again here. So, he has uh, 4M pounds of flour. He buys another two packages, and each of those weighs m pounds, so it's 2 times m, but that could also be 2m, same exact thing, 2m. So he has 4m, buys another 2 packages weighing m pounds. How much flour does Ling have now in terms of m? So I'm going to do 4m. Uh, let's erase that. 4m plus this 2m, and that'll tell me how much he has. And I can simplify that because they have like terms. So 4m plus 6m, it, 2m is 6m. So he has 6m amount of flour.